how is everyone? Uh, thanks for having uh, my channel. I, I really appreciate Vandi. I appreciate you very much. Yeah, the topic I'm bringing to everyone today uh, it's sexually transmitted infections. And specifically, I want to talk about abnormal discharges. Uh, if you have sex, maybe you had sex previously, then the um, uh, next few days you realize you are having some discharges which is unusual to you. Just understand there is a likelihood that you have sexually transmitted infections. In men, uh, when you have abnormal discharge, specifically it may be chlamydia infection or it may be gonorrhea, because you understand, if you have gonorrhea, you realize you are having some burning sensation while passing urine and you have uh, a yellowish pus discharge. Uh, and also, if I can talk about abnormal vaginal discharge in women, uh, in women, at times you may realize that your discharge is itchy you feel like you want to scratch, eh? you want to scratch their inside. So if it's itchy, you may be having tr trichomoniasis, you may be having candida. Candida is not classified as a sexually transmitted infection, but sexual intercourse is a risk factor for you to have candida. So uh, how, and how can you differentiate that either I have trichomoniasis or I have candida? In a candida, the discharge is white and you realize that your vulva is reddened and, and somehow inflamed. And uh, how do you know that you have Asus with trichomoniasis? Trichomoniasis, uh, for it, you, you may be having uh, a, a yellowish discharge and which is fishy you, you you will have that fishy smell so that's what will tell you that you maybe you have trichomoniasis we have uh, abnormal vaginal discharges which are non itchy where you don't scratch yourself and wh which are those ones for example in gonorrhea gonorrhea in women you don't have that itchy it's a sensation, maybe feeling that you are, you want to scratch. Also, we have chlamydia infection. It is also and it and what differentiates candida, no, no, no rather chlamydia infection and gonorrhea infection in women. In gonorrhea infection, you have a yellowish pus discharge, but. Uh, for chlamydia, you will be having uh, a colorless discharge, but you, you have to understand that it's non each. Okay, I have finished differentiating them. Now let's talk about the treatment. The treatment may take a course of seven days, and you have to take the right treatment. Not just a matter of going in a clinic, going anywhere and you purchase drugs which you don't know and you think that maybe you are treating the infection. Get the right course of treatment over seven days, take it very well and you have to take it with your partner. If you are a, a, a guy and you have a girlfriend, you don't take the treatment alone because now Take an example, you have treated yourself, you are okay. But now the other girl you slept with is also infected. However much, she may be uh, a silent carrier now. So you, you are okay, you are going back after your treatment. Again, you are going to be reinfected afresh. So it means you will again start another treatment. So to avoid that, you have to start the treatment. Also, your partner has to start the treatment the same way you as a girl if you are infected you have to caution your boyfriend you have to caution your husband that you you or two you have to be under treatment thank you